What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm talking my weekly sneaker rotation, so stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, I am back with another weekly sneaker rotation now. Technically, right? This is a new year, so this should be a new week. But what I'm going to do is continue the count on. The only thing that I'm about to change up, instead of saying like week 53, technically it is. And I may keep that in the title, but I'm probably just going to start numbering them like 53. Now, y'all know I started this series off at the beginning of the year in 2023. And here we are in a new year in a new week. So I made it 52 weeks last year and I'm going to do my very best and try it again, but I'm just gonna keep the count going forward. I'm not gonna start over like this is week one and start over, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go from week 52 to week 53. So technically this is week 53. So we're just gonna keep the number going forward and I'm gonna see how high I can climb, so to speak, right, okay? Now, if you wanna get a sneak peek of what I'm wearing throughout the week, sign up for that soul.discord. The link is pinned at the top of the comment section and it is free to sign up if you wanna get a sneak peek what I'm wearing throughout the week. We talk more than just sneakers over there. We definitely got a travel section. We have a food section. We have upcoming sneaker releases. Mainly a lot of sneaker talk, but we definitely talk a little bit of a variety of everything. We have a lounge, so definitely check it out if you guys are on the um, Discord. So other than that, enough rambling. Let's just go ahead and start off the new year, new week um, at week 53. So um, pretty much you guys know I end things off on a Friday, then pick things right back up on a Saturday. So. Saturday, right? Okay, the kid was headed to the chop shop. I know every time I get ready to shoot this video, it's probably time for me to go right back, right? Okay, but anyway, pretty much I headed to the chop shop on a Saturday and I wore none other than the Travis Scott and this is the uh, British khaki is the colorway that it's called, right? Okay, a shoe that I did have to pay resale for, but they wasn't going that crazy. So it's a shoe that arguably I feel like Maybe this is something I probably should wear more in October time frame, but sometimes these joints just hit, man. The glow in the dark on these, I think they did a great job as far as the details of making the tweaks and changes compared to the olive colorway, and I'm talking the Travis Scott olive sixes with having the tongue glow in the dark in the back heel, but at the same time, the olives do kind of trump these for me, but this is what I wore on Saturday. Super comfortable shoe. Y'all know I rock my shoe string super loosey goosey, and my dad can tell you I've been doing it ever since I was a young lad, right? Okay, so this was my Saturday shoe, was the Air Jordan 6 British Khaki. All right, so I'm gonna move right along on to pretty much Sunday and Monday. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, pretty much Sunday was New Year's Eve, and then Monday was New Year's I'm gonna be honest, man. I didn't have any New Year's or New Year's Eve plans at all, man. I just wanted to absolutely positively relax. And that's what I did, man. Now I did kind of, you know, I do what I always do. If you know, right? If you know, you know. But at the same time, I didn't like party, so to speak, okay? So pretty much on Sunday and Monday, pretty much was New Year's Eve and New Year's. I was in the house, Yeezy Slides. Um, definitely didn't even go to the mailbox. Maybe I took off some trash at best, but I mean like literally, if literally getting out of bed required too much energy, I wasn't even trying to get up. I may have like, you know, I got up and went to the bathroom. Maybe, I don't even know if I even cut the TV on, dog, to keep it a 100, but pretty much my Yeezy slides. Now, these are my beater joints that I wear around the crib. Um, no, I'm not walking around the crib with these, but if I did step out, which I'm almost positive, I may have to go something like, if I literally had to go down the street, I had these on. So these was pretty much my um, Sunday and Monday shoot, right, okay? Now, of course, it comes to Tuesday is the next one, right? Okay, right back to work because I'm not one of the fortunate ones and I'm not taking shots at anybody because if you did have the entire week off, congratulations, man, I'm happy for you. Trust me, no hate over here at all, but I'm not that guy, right? I was right back to work on Tuesday, so I stepped in and none other than the Jordan 1, and this is the Shadows, the 1.0s. The 2.0s did drop, I think, what, recently, um, but the 1.0s is something that uh, I did win on the sneakers app back in the day when these guys dropped. 
arguably one of my favorite shoes in my collection. You can tell, and it's not, you can't really tell with Jordan 1s because honestly, if you wear Jordan's, Jordan 1s more than once, with uh, Jordan 1s, if you wear them more than once, tongue twister, that soft leather on these is unforgiving, but it doesn't look bad whenever you have it on feet, unless you just got that person that looked like they literally bald in them. But I mean, like, honestly, you're gonna get that crinkly leather, but it doesn't look bad overall, man. So pretty much this was my Tuesday shoe. I feel like black and gray, you really can't go wrong with it. Very versatile colorway, most definitely. Um, we're gonna move right along on to Wednesday. Kid right back to work. And I don't know why, I was just in like a black theme, I guess, for whatever reason. But I stepped in none other than the Yeezy Calabasas and this is the black colorway. I remember these dropped, and I mean, not necessarily a hard cop. This was probably one of the first ever like easy Yeezy <laughs> bars, right? Easy Yeezy sneaker cops back in the day when they first started dropping in Adidas. Like those 350s, you wasn't about to get those guys for retail right off rip. Not all of them like you could like in the last past years. This is one of those first ones where if you just literally put a little bit of footwork in, you could have most likely got this shoe for retail because people didn't really care about the Calabasas like that. Now I will say this, looking at this joint on camera, no, it's a shoe you gotta see in person. And it's definitely a beater shoe for me, right? Okay, y'all know I wear these joints in the rain. I really don't care. Honestly, so far I can say, knock on wood, I'm looking at from wearing it from so much, um, pretty much a very durable shoe. But this also shows if you wear your shoes enough, that'll probably hold together better. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna move right along on to Thursday. Um, again, right back at to work. And I don't know about you guys in the area, but it's been kind of cold out, right? Okay, but it still don't make, as long as it's not raining, I'll pretty much wear any shoe. But anyway, on Thursday, the kids stepped in none other than the Air Jordan, and this is the 13 Flint, right? Okay, again, if you don't own a pair of 13s, this is my favorite 13, low key, or one of my favorite 13s anyway, just a little hint right here, because this was a childhood sneaker that, when it dropped back in the day, um, I could not get it, <clears throat> um, mainly because my parents did not want to pay for the shoe. And I remember my mom told me like, wait till, you know, um, the beginning of the year, you'll get that. Because I was one of those kids, you got like two pair, you got a play shoe and then you got your shoe that you don't mess up. And these, when they came out, you were, I wasn't getting them, right, okay? Um, again, they did. I did have the 2010 pair. I did um, pay that joint resale. Nobody really cares for them like that, but just a little sidebar why this one, all, I will always have this shoe because it's sentimental value, it's childhood memories for me. And it's something that, you know, when I got older, I'm like, if those shoes come back, I'm definitely gonna get them. And they have come back, man. I think I got majority of my childhood sneakers for sure. So I'm not really mad at it all, but this was my Thursday shoe. Three of them on these joints look immaculate. Um, a shoe that I can't say that I don't wear enough. I low key could probably wear the shoe every day and wouldn't even trip, but it doesn't go with everything in my wardrobe. So, you know, when I can wear it, I can wear it. And um, it's just a special place in my heart for me. But anyway, this was my Thursday shoe, was the Air Jordan, Air Jordan 13 Flints. Cool, now we're gonna move right along to close out the week for Friday. Always a tough day for me for Friday to pick a shoe because it also, you know, I don't know. Like sometimes, even though I have all these shoes behind me and I know there's some that I haven't worn just yet, sometimes, man, your favorite ones, you just like to put on sometimes. But anyway, this is a shoe where I liked it when I first bought it and then whenever I decided to do what I tried to do with it, I didn't like it, but now I back like it and it actually turned out, it aged well. Anyway, um, pretty much the Air Jordan 4 and this is the denim joint. And y'all know I customized these joints. I did do a video on this and to be honest, I went a little overboard. I probably should have just did white paint splatter. That red paint splatter was a little extra, but y'all know I'm a sucker for red. Low key, I'm almost positive. Other than the bleaching, I'm almost positive I really, really tried I could probably scrape a lot of the paint off without damaging the shoe, but I feel like it gives it character, man. And um, to be honest, it's not messed up as bad as I think it is, but maybe I just get a little bit paranoid with it, but I always rock these joints from time to time. Um, yeah, and it's a Jordan 4, man. I feel like Jordan 4s is arguably one of my favorite silhouettes of all time. So yeah, if I do, I'm not gonna say, now I will say this, if they did the shoe over again, um, just dropped a regular denim Air Jordan 4, I would buy it and probably not do anything to it. Low key, I wish I would've left it the way it is, but at the same time, it is what it is. We can't do it with undone, right? Unless you just buy another new pair. But anyway, this was my Friday shoe, and this completes my weekly sneaker rotation uh, for week 53. Technically, we're starting off at the beginning of the year. Um, 
What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section. And of course, as always, let me know what you wore throughout the week as well. I definitely look forward to reading to the comments and seeing what that is. Um, other than that, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and start rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.